always a joy to be here in South Yorkshire. We're at Bramall Lane. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Sheffield United up against Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And this is how the starting 11 looks for Sheffield United. John Egan plays alongside Jack Robinson in central defence. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Good luck. Cheers. Hey. Thanks. Hi. Good game. Good game. Good game. Hey, good game. Thanks. Good game. Cheers. Good. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the main striker here is Edward Nketiah. Thank you, Bramall Lane. Enjoy the game. And so the battle commences. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. Chances on. Oh, masterful defending to prevent what looked like a certain goal. Plenty to like about Martin Odegaard, his approach to the game, his ability on the pitch. What do you expect to see oh, from him in this match? Look at Derek Chance here. Well, buying his teammates a bit of time. And getting across to stop it. Now sending it in. Well, capable of a better clearance than that. Ahmed Hodjic. Now well, they stopped them in their tracks. Martin Odegaard. Arsenal's free kick here. Martin Odegaard now with Havertz an encouraging personal move but nothing comes of it Gustavo Hammer space and time for Arsenal did well to win the ball back Norwood. Now the counter attack looks on. That's a nice looking ball. And just like that, the counter attack comes to an end. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Not all that convincing defensively. Jack Robinson using all his defensive acumen to cut it out now what can they do from here oh he's lost possession of the ball good looking move this Still looking for space.
McBurney closing down well. The cross is on. Corner kick forthcoming. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. And able to close down the shot. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. And Kessia. Havertz. Havertz! And with that, the first half action is over here at Bramall Lane. And the match begins. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. And danger averted, well read. It does appear to be opening up on the flank for Arsenal here. Who can he pick out? And there it is! The opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. 1-0 then. Ben White and Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position well good power and so close to finding the net and they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game so half an hour remaining Tom Davis Norwood And defensive play to be applauded. Martinelli. The defenders know you can't really allow space like that. And Kessia. Martinelli. And threading it through. And danger still. No defensive resilience there. And that's really well read. Tom Davis well, keeping it on the ground slightly off target however Gabriel now Zinchenko well we're inside the final quarter of an hour now and playing it through now they stopped them in their tracks is it going to be Oh, magnificent reaction. Gabriel Martinelli. Very alert defending to put off to the chance. Well, no time to waste. Can they find an equaliser? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Bukayo Saka and Ketia has it Martin Odegaard Kai Havertz Martinelli oh surely and the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save substitution then let's see how it affects the match Gabriel oh goodness me he set the post And the referee blows for full time, bringing this contest to an end. A frustrating experience for Sheffield United.